Hey guys, good afternoon, good morning, good evening to all our viewers. And what we're going to talk about here is this keyboard for China Room. You see that one? That's kind of annoying actually. Uh, having to toggle different keyboards as well as different characters. Um, we all hope to make it this uh, a very standard English QWERTY keyboard. So what we're going to do is first download the keyboard. So on the App Store, type Keyboard X, space X. Okay, don't do anything else. Press search. Then on my on my phone, you see that it's the second icon, Keyboard Themes X. This is what you want to install. And once you install it, this is what you're going to see inside that application. Now, do not do anything yet, anything else at this point in time. Just keep it as is because we need to set up now the keyboard on the phone. So from your home screen, click on settings. Then we can click on additional settings here. Okay, you see that's those are the options. So additional settings. Then from additional settings, we're going to see the languages and the input. This is where you're going to see the keyboard options. All right. Current keyboard it says there's Sogo in X keyboard because it's already installed. But if it's if it's we don't have X keyboard, you will see Sogo only. China wrong phone. So languages needs to be kept in English. Uh, that's quite obvious unless you can read uh, Chinese. Then next we're gonna do is manage keyboard again. This way you're gonna see the Sogo keyboard, which is the default, and the X keyboard. So this is when you can toggle on which keyboard you want to activate. You see that? So obviously we want to keep the X keyboard activated so we can disable the Sogo. On the preferences of the keyboard, so we, we can update the layout, text correction, advance, uh, language, language uh, switch key. It's up to you when you use QWERTY, German or French. Um, so that's an option here. Okay. Then from here, we can check out the other preference like text correction. You know, when you type, it will give you uh, predetermined spelling, etc. It's up to you to update that. Uh, on the advance, is the delay. We're not going to mess with that uh, on this. We're not going to mess up that feature. Okay, so preferences. Um, this is where you customize basically the keyboard, the field. I'll let you do that um, and, and make it fit for your usage. Okay, you can also change the keyboard height scale, etc. Okay, um, the manage keyboard option. Okay, what I did is I disabled the first three. Um, that helps me just keep the X keyboard available for myself. Okay, so let's test it. Let's go to a browser. And then you see that, guys, no more Chinese keyboard or, or icons here. Just straightforward English um, QWERTY keyboard, right? And if you want to go to the now lock, the usual uh, arrow up or the shift key, as we all know it, that's, that's basically uh, what you have to do in terms of getting read of the Chinese characters. And um, it will be made available to all um, applications that would require uh, English language. Okay, this is where the number is. You can see it's uh, fully functional as well as the special characters uh, below the screen. Apps. We go to apps. From here, we can go to manage apps because we're gonna uh, search here the keyboard X. Okay, and let's type in X keyboard L. Okay, it gives us that uh, application. Right, let's click on that. So these are the permissions that uh, I have enabled for this application. Permission, I only have one, which is uh, uh, I did not activate home screen shortcut, uh, show lock screen, uh, display pop-up. I did not activate that. Uh, what, what I basically have is uh, notification turned on. Okay, guys, uh, that's it. 
um, once you downloaded the application, turn off the right and turn on the correct notification, then you're gonna be able to use just normal for the English numpad minus the Chinese characters. Okay, I hope you like this video. I hope this is useful for you. If you like this, please share and subscribe. And uh, if you have any other questions, let me know. But so far, this is the best uh, third party keyboard application I've seen and downloaded. And so far, it's working properly on a China role. Okay, so guys, please stay safe. And uh, this is another Smash Unbox.